What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the corner. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I actually missed this story late last week, and I wanted to circle back here um, and show my support for fellow content creator who I believe was uh, hilariously, absurdly wronged by an important sponsor of theirs. Um, this is something that we deal with all the time. I'm a little different on my channel when I feel like a sponsor hasn't been upfront about why they've chosen to leave the channel. I have no problem putting them on blast. There have been sponsors in the past that, you know, you know, just didn't work out and jive with my audience and they don't come back and it makes sense. But this is uh, perhaps uh, the most perfect example of uh, epic self-ownership and instant regret that I've seen. Uh, look, VPNs are... Uh, you know, there are many available, all right? You, you watch this channel, right? Why don't I just say it? I'm sponsored by Private Internet Access. They give a massive discount to my viewers. I'm going to leave a link in the description and pinned comment below. If you don't use a VPN in 2021, make sure you pick one up. Private Internet Access is the one I use. And it seems like there's a lot of Surfshark refugees that may be uh, interested in an alternative. They've stuck by me for almost a year now and have never had anything uh, to say to me about my videos. Uh, so if you're looking for something, an alternative to Surfshark, let PIA save the day. Uh, I saw this tweet originally from uh, Lauren Chen, by the way. Congrats, Lauren. I heard she's uh, with child. Uh, I'm sure it will be born with a gigantic mustache. Tweeting, turns out Surfshark doesn't deserve your business. We were happy to can they were happy to cancel Mr. Andy No over some random unverifiable claims. Now this is not uncommon. This happened to me, uh, and, I, and I I don't mind saying you know it was NordVPN. Um, I stuck with Nord. Remember NordVPN? How they were everywhere, and then they had that data breach, and everyone was kind of abandoning ship. I made a whole video defending them saying, you know, not dismissing the data breach, but letting them know that I would be sticking with them. Um, and then a month later, they severed ties with me and with uh, Count Dankula. And I found out through the grapevine that it was that because we were problematic creators. Now, they were fine taking all of our referrals. And from what I can tell, they did not refund any of my customers, any of my clients or viewers that went to them and nor did they for Dank and other creators that they decided to boot. This is the risk you run when you're a channel that maybe, you know, isn't a cat channel or a channel that maybe is a little controversial at times. You, it's, sponsors are important and they pay the bills. And, uh, you know, ultimately we are at their mercy. I've had good luck with PIA thus far. Andy writes, a super soldier has been trying to intimidate me into silence for reporting out that he was forced to turn in his pew pew because of a restraining order. To retaliate, he's spreading defamatory lies and quickly deleting the tweets because I have receipts. Surfshark fell for the hoax. Here we see someone named Chad Loader, who we're going to take a little deeper dive into just how model of a citizen this individual is tweeting at Surfshark. Hey, Surfshark, why do you run ads on a site run by Andy No? Now, I don't know. Uh, the site in question here is the Post Millennial, a site I really enjoy. I've met several of the writers there. I really enjoy them. Um, so they, they hurt a, a, an online outlet that is important to me, too. He works with the Proud Boys and the Capital Bad Boys to target journalists with threats. Never happened. It's just an outright lie. Uh, to which Surfshark immediately replies. We weren't aware about this at Chad Loader. Thanks for pointing it out. We've stopped working with them. Media freedom is one of our core values. And this is just speechless. He also wrote, when people say Andy provides hit lists of journalists to right-wing people. They're not kidding. He just tweeted a how-to guide for ending me and my and my family inside our home. Again, never happened, right? These are just heinous lies. 
You see Chad is an LA-based super soldier who uh, incites all sorts of bad behavior. He played a role in the uh, everything going on outside the spa this year. You can see Chad, um, <coughs> excuse me, happily tweeting that somebody was hurt at this event. No hate rallies in LA. Uh, emo By the way, if you use emojis, I just automatically don't care. Yeah, it sucks, but I'm not a journalist. I'm an activist. I don't know what that pays. So I suppose um, the BLM people made millions. Uh, I'm speaking to a specific community, though, who knows how to read through the lines. Interesting. Interesting. And then you see, this is my reporting that led to him retaliating with baseless theories and taking the businesses that do advertising with the post-millennial. He is accused of serially threatening uh, uh, somebody and was forced to turn in his pew-pew to the state. Surfshark saying here uh, and retweeting, we weren't aware about this. Of course, Andy replies, source, like there's nobody, by the way, no, there's no evidence for any of this, but they decided, hey, okay. And then we see um, even Tim getting involved in it and torching them. You can see that basically, you know, le le center right leading, there's a recipe I'm saving for Melanie Mack because those ribs, those uh, keto whatevers look pretty good. Um, the idea that uh, people rallied together to support the post-millennial here, I think is great. Here's see uh, Tim Poole saying, Surfshark does not deserve your business. They pulled ads in response to lies about Andy. No, everyone cancel your service with them. Tell all your friends and family to cancel them. I'll use the full weight of our network to do the same. It's a bold, you know, bold claim. Surfshark undoubtedly lost tens of thousands of customers, more customers than I've probably ever signed up uh, in a whole for like PIA, for example. And now you see, Andy, if you've contacted Surfshark over the decision to cut our business ties with the post millennial, please email me and let they know, let me know what they wrote you. Surfshark doesn't care about facts, personal privacy, safety, or anything like that. They care, all they care about is politics and feelings. Well, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, when we look at, um, you know, what's funny is then super brave man, Chad Loader, decided to delete his original tweet. Everyone was pointing that out. So he says, this is my original tweet. I deleted it because Surfshark made a decision to distance themselves from those vile anti-black rhetoric and collusion with the Proud Boys. Um, what? Uh, citation, please. Citation, please. And now he's talking about he's suing Andy. Um, these people live in like a bizarre, you know, alternate reality. Because here's the reality of it. Let's take a look at the last time Surfshark even tweeted, which was on September 8th, because they have been essentially locked out of tweeting on their own account because they're getting absolutely obliterated. Surprising someone, looking up a gift for someone on their computer. Keep it a secret without them finding out. Use our VPN. Now, I'll support companies that go after it. Don't go after any. No, here's a go woke, go broke. Uh, whilst I'm shopping for a new VPN, a gift would be Surfshark going bankrupt. Do not do business with this company. They completely destroyed their entire reputation. Their entire reputation. They're fake. They will sell your info. Uh, you know, secure this middle finger. It looks like you lost a ton of customers. Uh, there's like, there's no, they can't even tweet because, pe I mean, thousands and thousands of people. Have, even if you look at some of their replies, they try replying to people and they're getting completely ratioed. I mean, it's, it's like, it's, it's insane to me. Here's like on a customer, Surfshark will not keep your privacy safe. They side with super soldiers, cancel your subscription and get whatever this is. They focus on privacy, not political issues. And, and normies, normies in these threads are getting kind of uh, educated on a lot of politics. You see people replying with Tim Pool's tweet here, Andy's uh, alternatives, here's Nord. I wouldn't go with Nord, but that's just me. Um, you know, 
I've never heard of Surfshark before, but now I know you as a company, uh, you're a company that terminates accounts for political reasons. That's not a good thing. Did you guys apologize yet? Phony shark. This has been an absolute disaster for them. And, you know, I definitely, you know, if, like I've said, if you're kind of on like the center right or not, if you're really just anybody who's non mainstream, this is the reality of it. Um, you know, somebody could just say something on Twitter. I mean, I ran into this, I suspect, with one of my largest sponsors from last year. I suspect it. Um, I won't name them, but I think you could probably figure out, you know, somebody that I was doing very well for and you guys supported very, very, very well. Um, I suspect that the internet mob kind of took over. I also suspect Dollar Shave Club did that. Um, I made a video about it. This is the struggle. And that's why a lot of YouTubers, for example, like I have a subscribe star. I don't talk about it often, but it's a free speech alternative of Patreon and it's exceedingly important. So maybe you don't want to you know, support sponsors, but you want to throw a few bucks in the bin. I always appreciate that. And the same for all of your other favorite creators. Uh, when you dare to go against kind of the mainstream narrative, this is what you get. And then you see here, CEO of web hosting company and domain company Epic calls out Chad Loader over his latest campaign. And then, by the way, former federal DOD contractor and super soldier offender. Ooh. Yikes. If that's true, yikes. Yikes. And now we know Anonymous ends up hacking uh Epic. So I don't know. Was Chad responsible for that? I don't know. Seems unlikely given I don't know if they have previous beef, but yeah, don't give your money to Surfshark. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.